When I was a kid, I used to believe it was somehow enchanted. Even today, I still don't know what to think about it. I'm not sure what to do with it. I used to go to churches only to steal. Good evening. Perhaps you did not notice, young man, but it is too late. Our doors are closed. Uh, but I need something. It's urgent. Try again tomorrow. A friend of mine died today, and I would like to arrange at least a slightly normal funeral for him. Could you come with me? What? Now, in the middle of the night? Well... It's not far from the town. He's in a pit under the gallows. But it is pure nonsense. What are you thinking? This is not the way funerals are arranged. And furthermore, the earth under the gallows is not sanctified. Only murderers and suicides lie up there. He wasn't a suicide. He was a decent man who never harmed anybody. He didn't deserve such an indignant end. It is not possible. I am sorry. It is too late. It's never too late for a good deed. I am not a fool. I am not going anywhere with you. Do you understand? I swear I don't want anything else. Just the funeral. As I already said, if you need help, I can arrange it, but not this way. Bring the body. We will complete all the necessary forms, and then we shall see. Can we do something else? Give me something I can put in his coffin. A crucifix or something. I don't want him to end up in a hole just like a dog. This is insane. I am seriously considering calling the police. That's not necessary. Just forget I was ever here. I won't try anything as long as the priest's here. I'll improve it a bit. Me and Brian used to do this to distract the priest's attention while we were robbing the donation box. Good old days. Oh God, what an awful stench. Perhaps I did not express myself clearly. Could you leave, please? Just calm down, okay? God, this place stinks like a sewer. When was the last time you changed the holy water? What are you talking about? You can't smell it. The holy water is spoiled. It's almost impossible to breathe in here. It is not possible. What a stench! And I didn't notice it before. I must get rid of it immediately. Just go. I'll keep an eye on the place. It's strange. I don't even feel like stealing money. It's strange. If I died, Brian would do anything he could to make sure that I had peace. I'll take this thing and put it in his coffin. That's the least I can do. Goodbye, my friend. I'll miss you like hell. Forgive me, my friend. It shouldn't have ended like this.
going, or I'll release the dog. Emily, you have no dog. Who's there? The poor chap to whom you provided clothes and who then ran to the pub. Are you still angry? Oh my God, Tim. Wait a second, I'll open the door. What a surprise. I thought I'd never see you again. Hi, Emily. I'm sorry, I couldn't come earlier. You were arrested, I know. What a smart girl you are. Sure I am. So you're not angry anymore? No. I know the girl who's working at the Salted Cheek. I heard you helped her, and I'm very grateful for that. How grateful? You can stay here if you want, but don't expect anything more from me. Ah, oh, you haven't changed at all, Emily. But thanks for letting me stay, at least. You're a fantastic girl. When I see her, I realize something has changed. I have changed. Emily, do you remember my pal? I was supposed to meet him in a pub. Not really. What was his name? Brian. Unfortunately, he's dead. Oh, Tim, I'm really sorry. Me too. Listen, Emily, I want to find his murderer. But all I have is this. Do you happen to know where this theatre is? It's been closed for a couple of years. Don't be a fool, Tim. Leave it up to the police. No, I can't. Will you help me? All right, then. I know where it is. You have to go to the main square. Then head north. It'll lead you to where you need to go. You can't miss it. It's the oldest building in the district. Nobody goes there. Thank you, Emily. For me, as well as for Brian. Just promise me you won't screw up, Tim. I've finished with screw-ups. I promise. Somebody got ahead of me. I have to follow him quickly. Where's he gone to? My God. Isn't that the bastard who beat me up in the pub? Yeah, it's him. He was surprised from behind. Enjoy the eternal dreams. Everybody who was at the cemetery that night is dead. I'm the only one left, but nobody knows I'm still alive. He has nothing that could be useful. Damn. He must have had a hidden boat. I'll go ahead and see how far I can get by foot. For a long time I was guided by the light he probably had fastened on his boat. After it got lost in the distance, I wanted to give up. Yet I went on. Almost mad with fear, I was blindly running about, but I kept going as far as I could. further. Damn. I'll go back. This is useless. It's dividing into three tunnels. There are too many escape routes. This is the end. I have to go back. Oh, it's dividing into three tunnels. There are too many escape routes. 